And now we are going to look at Google search app. So here I asked, what is the weather in Budapest? And as you can see, it's 70 degrees Fahrenheit or 21 degrees Celsius. Wind is about two kilometers per hour. So it says the current temperature in Budapest is 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 56% humidity and one uh, mile per hour wind. As you can see, it's 56% humidity. So first we are going to pip install this Google search results. This will allow us to use this SERP API wrapper. So SERP API is basically API for Google search. So you can uh, perform Google search programmatically. Then we will create a SERP API uh, account and we will paste our API key right here as well as OpenAI API key. On chat start, we are going to define two LLMs. So LLM is gonna be chat OpenAI with temperature zero and streaming true. And then LLM one is gonna be open AI, temperature zero streaming uh, true. And then search is gonna be a search API wrapper. We're also going to define this LLM math chain and I will explain why. It's gonna be LLM math chain dot from LLM and then we're gonna pass in the parameters. And now we will learn about using tools. So here we will pass in two tools. The first tool is gonna be called search. This is basically our SERP API that I was explaining. So the name is gonna be search, function is gonna be search.run. And then description, useful when, well, when you need to answer a question about current events, you should ask targeted questions. So the way you, you would use this uh, search is you just say search.run and then you pass in like the search query. And then this would return like Google results. But we don't need this for now. The second tool we will use is calculator. This is just going to be useful when you need to answer questions about math. So this math chain is just gonna be, a function is gonna be LLM math chain dot run. And LLM, LLM, LLM math chain <coughs> is made from uh, this LLM, which is chat open AI. And this is like a class that defines how to use chat open AI to do mathematics, this LLM math chain class. So if I click on this and go to definition, right click and then it's gonna say chain that interprets a prompt and execute Python code to do math. So that's what this LLM math chain is. You can take a look at the code. I might be explaining this another time. Then we will make a new agent object. It's gonna be initialize agent. And then we will pass in some parameters. So we're gonna pass in these tools that we defined, LLM one, which is this open AI LLM. And then we're gonna choose this agent. There are multiple different agents, which I will explain in a different lecture. And then also this parameter where pose is equal to true. That's just to output these, if you see this green and uh, like what's agent thinking here in the console. At last, we are going to save this agent object into this user session. So because this is defined in this start function, we want to also be able to access it in this main function. So we're gonna say agent is equal to user session and then get agent because here we used set agent. And this is just callback for streaming. So it writes uh, answer as it receives instead of waiting for the whole answer to be generated and then writing everything at once. So we're just gonna make a sync uh, function call. We're gonna run the agent. We're gonna pass in the message and callback. So if I go to our app and say two plus six, now we have uh, using I agent executor, it got the answer eight. We see it, it took three steps. Uh, thought I need to use the calculator to solve this equation. The action is gonna be action calculator, action input t, uh, two plus six. It took one step right here, two plus six. This is the LLM chain that I was explaining the mathematics LLM chain. And then it just, pass down the answers. I know, uh, I now know the final answer, final answer eight. If you don't know exactly where these steps come from, we're gonna learn that with time. It's a bit more complex. As I said, the mathematics chain is a bit more complex. So we will learn this uh, with time.